Sam! Labu Dabu Zazel. What? What's, What's happening? happening? What brings you here? Body and face of a human, but tail of a fish? Who are you? Are, are, are you, you a, a mermaid? mermaid? Shh, keep quiet. Listen. along with me. Oh no, we're catching up. This way, in there, faster. <laughs> you won't be so lucky next time. You will be safe here for now. Oh, wow. Anna, what is this place? What just happened? Why were the sharks attacking us? I believe they were being controlled by someone. Thank you so much for saving us, Miss Mermaid. You are very welcome. Just call me Anna. Hi, Anna. I'm May. These are my friends, Sam and Brody. Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite fairy tales. I never imagined that there were really mermaids under the sea. This is so unbelievable. There is a myth about mermaids. It is said that thousands of years ago, in a country called Syria, there was a beautiful goddess called Atagardis. When she jumped into the lake, because of her beauty, only her lower body transformed into a fish. She was the first mermaid. The mermaid that you know has one tail. But I heard from the elders that there are also mermaids with two tails in Greek mythology. They are called Siren. Um, Anna, I have a question. Are there male mermaids? Of course there are, silly. They are called mermen. There are merfolk all over the world. That's so cool! It looks like an ancient city. That is right. This used to be the lovely city of Atlantis. It was so full of art and culture. One day, it sank into the sea and was destroyed. Oh, Anna. My home planet, Planet M, was also a beautiful and stunning place but my father told me that it's not safe anymore and that one day it will be destroyed. I must find the energy crystals quickly. It is the only way to save the people of my planet. So that's the reason why you came to Earth. That's right. Uh... Brody, you are mine. Go get him. Hurry, we need to get out of here. When we think of mermaids, Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Little Mermaid, which Disney made into a movie, pops into our heads. However, places all around the world have their own version of mermaids. These mermaids come from different cultures, have different personalities, and look quite different. For example, the sirens from Greek myths are dangerous creatures with two tails. They would trick sailors into falling into the water with their beautiful songs. Did you know? There is a super famous coffee shop company that has a siren on its logo. Do you know which one? 
in Africa, there are legends about a creature called Mamiwata, which is similar to the mermaids that we know. They have a large pet snake that is wrapped around their body. Although they are usually female, there are male ones too. In China, the earliest stories about mermaids come from a book called Classic of Mountains and Seas, written as early as 400 BC. They were also beautiful women with a fish-like tail. They wore traditional Chinese clothing and were very kind. Legends say that they would turn their tears into pearls to give the people who helped them. So why do most mermaids have a tail of a fish? Some people believe that it is because scientists have discovered that all mammals have the same ancestor, fish. Let's take a look at how humans evolved step-by-step step from fish. Today, we learned about mermaids from all over the world. Mermaids have the upper body of a human and a lower body of a fish. But what if we change that? What if we use different animals? What would happen? Let's try it out in your mermaid journal. Remember, we are here to have fun. There is no need to rush. You can always pause the video when you need a break. Enjoy your creative adventure, part one. What we will be using today. Hi, boys and girls. Look at this amazing journal. Today, we will create a mermaid's journal together. Let's prepare the materials. We have a mermaid's journal, scales, and markers. Part 2. Going through your mermaid's journal. Let's open the mermaid's journal. As you can see, there are pages with stickers. Turn to the next page. You can see the mermaid is divided into two parts. We have many choices for the upper body, as well as different tails. Choose your favorite combination and color it with a marker. Now, let's draw the background. You can draw the place where the mermaid lives, and you can also paint the background with colors you like. After drawing, pick the stickers of your choice and decorate the mermaid. Part 3. Turn your best friend into a mermaid. In the mermaid's journal, there are blank pages where you can design your best friend into a mermaid. Choose a picture of your friend and stick it on a blank page. Draw your friend a colored fishtail you like and decorate it with stickers. Let us decorate our journal. Apply glue on the back of the scales. Part 4. Decorate the journal's cover. Take a look at our mermaid's journal. A mermaid girl and anglerfish mermaid. A flamingo mermaid. A mermaid from east. Even a T-Rex mermaid and a merman.